If you think the scariest place in the solar system is a dark hole in space, think again. There's a planet right next door that's boiling hot, crushes metal like paper, and rains acid from the sky. Welcome to Venus, where even robots go to die. You're about to find out why Venus might be the most dangerous, chaotic, and completely insane planet we've ever discovered. Welcome back, space connoisseurs. Today, we're taking a trip to the planet that might just be Hell's vacation home. That's right, Venus, the second rock from the sun and possibly the most terrifying place in the entire solar system. Venus is like Earth's evil twin, same size, same mass. But instead of beaches and puppies, it has acid rain, crushing pressure, and temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Let's start with the basics. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, sitting pretty at about 67 million miles away. It's roughly the same size as Earth, so scientists call it our sister planet. But if this is our sister, she listens to death metal, lives in a volcano, and hates visitors. Venus's atmosphere is like a weighted blanket from your nightmares. It's 96% carbon dioxide and super thick. How thick? Imagine being 3,000 feet underwater, but with lava bubbles. That's how much pressure you'd feel standing on the surface. One wrong move and your spacecraft would crumple like a soda can in a trash compactor. Need a facial? Venus offers complimentary sulfuric acid clouds. That's right. Venus literally rains acid. But don't worry. The planet's so hot, the acid evaporates before it even hits the ground. What a relief, right? Let's talk heat. Venus has a surface temperature of around 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than Mercury, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun. Why? Because Venus has the worst case of greenhouse gases in the solar system. It traps heat like your car on a July afternoon. If that car were made of lava. Time works weird on Venus. One day, one full spin on its axis takes 243 Earth days. But a full orbit around the Sun, its year, takes only 225 Earth days. That's right, a Venusian day is longer than its year. Oh, and it spins backwards. The Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Basically, Venus is doing donuts in space with no regard for the rules. Venus is the graveyard of space probes. The Soviet Union's Venera missions were the first to touch down and melt. Venera 13 lasted 127 minutes, which is basically forever in Venus time. NASA's Magellan mapped the planet from orbit in the 90s, but no one's landed there since. Future missions like NASA's Veritas and Europe's Envision aim to crack Venus's secrets. But will they survive? Venus doesn't play nice. In the not-so-distant future, a new wave of exploration is set to descend on the shrouded world of Venus. After decades of being overlooked in favor of Mars, Venus is finally regaining the spotlight. As mentioned, NASA's upcoming Veritas and Da Vinci Plus missions, along with Europe's Envision Orbiter and India's planned Shukrayaan-1 are poised to peel back the mystery of this alien planet. These missions will dive deep into Venus's atmosphere, scan its fractured surface, and search for signs of ancient oceans or even volcanic activity still raging today. Each spacecraft is like a robotic pioneer, gathering the vital data needed to determine whether we could one day build habitats in the skies, or perhaps terraform small sections of this fiery world. These missions won't just teach us about Venus. They'll redefine where and how we might live beyond Earth. Here's the twist. In 2020, scientists detected a strange chemical in Venus's clouds, phosphine, which on Earth is usually a sign of life. 
Now, that doesn't mean little green aliens are floating around in acid clouds, but it's enough to make astronomers say, hey, what if? So, could we eventually live on Venus? Imagine stepping out onto the surface of Venus, not in a sleek spacesuit, but inside a reinforced habitat floating high above its scorched, sulfuric clouds. While the surface below is a hellscape of crushing pressure, molten rock, and temperatures hot enough to melt lead, about 50 kilometers above, conditions become eerily Earth-like. The temperature cools to a livable range, and the pressure is similar to what we experience at sea level. Could this be the key? Scientists envision enormous floating cities, tethered like balloons, drifting in the planet's thick atmosphere. But even here, challenges loom. Sulfuric acid rains, intense winds, and the constant threat of corrosion. Still, with bold engineering and a spark of imagination, Venus's skies could one day become humanity's second home, an upside-down world where we don't walk on land, but live among the clouds. So to recap, Venus is hot, angry, backward spinning, acid raining, and somehow still mysterious. Would you go there? Let us know in the comments. And remember, if you're packing for Venus, bring sunscreen, a reinforced pressure suit, and maybe an escape plan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss our next cosmic adventure. Until next time, keep looking up. Thanks for watching.